Build the God Squad you've always wanted. InstantMuttCoins.com. Instant delivery, cheapest prices, 24-7 support. Use code CC, 15% off. EA tax, 10% is covered. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are back with the best team in Madden. Again, it's like the 40th one of the year. Let's kick the best team in Madden off. I uh, am addicted to freaking packs and what did we pull that we had to save it's a ghost it's a ghost j j why i don't even know is bruce matthews more expensive i gotta go look uh i never even looked but that happened off camera i figured save it you guys love ghosts i love ghosts ghosts are great no jj watts like 70s he should be more expensive uh he should be is he no he's not but he should be uh, so we're going to talk about the best team in Madden today. And uh, Bruce Bruce Matthews, 100k. But you always take the ghost, right? Uh, best team in Madden now. We did... Ugh, ugh. Uh, we did talks earlier about uh, this week. 99 overall team. You see we are there. Gold 99s, etc. All that fun stuff. And just because you are a gold 99 uh, does not mean you are the best card in the game. In my strong, humble, honest, full, best in the world opinion. Why do I say I'm the best in the world? I don't know. I have no proof. I have no proof. But let's look at the team. And this is where we've ended up before these last eh, two promos, really. Uh, Willie Rofe still holding down left tackle. No problems, no questions there. He's pretty, he's pretty good, right? Randall McDaniel again. He is a uh, pretty good. Basically, Willie Rofe, Dermani Dawson, again. He is uh, well. He's pretty good. <laughs> Larry Allen, can you guess what it's gonna be? He's pretty good. And Willie Anderson, stay with me. He's he's also he's pretty good. So our offensive line that doesn't need any changes. We don't need the gold 99s. It doesn't make sense. I really wish we got a new. We haven't had a new tight end in forever, and I really wish we got one, but we didn't. Uh, quarterback, obviously, like that's so hard to change. Franco Harris. Whenever he gets a card, we're gonna get him. Obviously, Marshawn Barry. Ricky, obviously, again, more good, very standard cards. Randy, Calvin, Odell, T.O., and Julio, who, again, I feel like he needs an upgrade. Um, but again, there are all these cards are all they're so they're all the same. And I hate that this is the path that we've gone down. But it is the path that we indeed have gone down. Uh, Sean Taylor and KZ, still no changes there. Lawrence Taylor, Clowney, Shazier, Devin White, Jalen Smith, Brian Urlacher. You guys say you should get Ray Lewis. Good. Uh, Leighton Vanderish is a new addition to the team. 96 speed, 99 acceleration, saying it's 6 foot 4. Very, very, very good card. Uh, he's going to be a, a monster in Madden for years to come. He's even got a 99 jump. Whew. Pretty He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Even 95 zone. Vanderish. Big time. Now, Von Miller, is he going to get an upgrade? Probably. Von Miller always gets to 99. Uh, Jamal Adams, Ed Reed. Jalen Ramsey, who still plays really well. Uh, in my opinion, he's, he, he really plays like one of the best corners. Uh, Dion, Mel Blunt, Night Train Lane, and Rod Woodson sitting there. Mile, you know, all this stuff. So. We're looking to upgrade Alan Page whenever he gets his card. Vaughn Miller, Deion Jones. Those are the three cards on defense, really, that we're going to be looking for. Hopefully they get cards. Uh, otherwise, Andy Lee and Justin Tucker holding down the 99 overall spots there. Not too bad. Uh, specialists. Again, Jason Taylor, Montez Sweat sitting there. And this John Madden coach is almost all the way done. So it gives us even more boosts. Uh, so many cards are just the same, man. 
and it's kind of unfortunate but it's really just the way it is these days uh i truly believe that if you want a card you just pick the guy with the picture you like or the name you like or the guy who is the guy you actually like you know it doesn't matter uh much at this point a lot of these cards really are the same but because the cards that i have and i've had for a while uh they play really as good as they can uh it's hard to find someone who is going to be able to like really take someone's spot you know like this lorenzo neal is not taking the spot for franco harris why there's seven speed difference is Lorenzo Neal a better run blocker? He is. But well, I don't use him for, for run blocking anyway. If I use him, it's because I, I need a, a threat running the ball with my fullback. If that makes sense. So, like, there's no point in adding him. Uh, some of these other positional heroes. Good cards. Really, really good cards. They just don't make the cut. Like, this Zach Kurtz. He is big and he can catch and do all that stuff. But this Gronk card has been out for forever, it feels like. And, I mean, look at this. Four strength, or four speed, ten strength. Catching stats, relatively the same. Route running stats, Ertz is a better route runner. And then ten run block. Like, why would you get anyone else? <laughs> like, I... D they kind of shot themselves in the foot. They should have been boosting other cards more now to make them feel different, feel special. Um, like even these defensive tackles of Fletcher Cox and the Geno Atkins. Like again, really good cards, but when you compare them to the other D tackles, there's not a lot of difference. You know? Like these cards are really, really similar, except John Randall has very high power move and very high finesse move mean joe obviously doesn't he's a little more like fletcher cox i'd probably rather have fletcher cox here um maybe slightly even grady jarrett again been out a long time card not all that different outside of speed so madden's really put themselves in a, a pretty bad spot and uh, i don't think anyone disagrees <laughs> with that at all but it's unfortunate like, even, like, why is Quinn and Williams card really good? Compares really well. So, whoever you have on your team, you've probably got a lot of chemistry on them. You've got a lot of good stuff on them. It makes it it's fine. You know, uh, the guys that I have used, and the reason I keep using them is because I really like the way that they have played for me. Uh, like, I love the way that Marshawn runs. Barry Sanders comes in occasionally. Ricky Williams, I just have here. I could, I mean, we've got, I've got Todd Gurley sitting here on the bench. I've still have sold Nick Chubb. Uh, I guess I got rid of that, uh, was it that Saquon? But just these cards are good, man, you know? But they're just not all that different. You can get a card with high speed, high Excel, high agility at pretty much any spot. And it's sort of what makes me say, that, like, well, golden tickets wouldn't have mattered. Maybe they, they wouldn't have mattered, really. But I think they would have, and it would have been a really nice touch to have them. Because then we would have had changes in certain positions. Maybe not necessarily at receiver or necessarily at running back. But I think positions at tight end, you would have seen some, some new guys crop up if there was a golden ticket tight end that had come out. I think he would have been pretty highly desired. Uh, additionally, some guys at defensive end or linebacker or even cornerback, right? If you someone were to make a gold ticket Jalen Ramsey and give him a little bit of boost to hit power and block shit, that, was, that, that is a must-have card, you know? And that was what the beauty of golden tickets uh, could have been this year. But obviously, they, they don't exist. Uh, chemistries were overdone this year completely completely overdone but i mean you wouldn't have liked a, a golden ticket clowny i would have taken a golden ticket clowny shit <laughs> Ooh, shit uh or a golden ticket any card man it would have just been nice to get it um but 
whatever comes out for the rest of the year, we'll still try to add the best players we can, in my opinion. And I'll continue to show this to you guys. And you guys have shown a lot of support for this series uh, last year and this year. We did, we did it last year as well. And uh, we're going to do it again next year and keep you guys up to date this way as a weekly series. Uh, I think you guys seem to enjoy it. Uh, and then this gives me an opportunity when you guys ask questions on stuff, chemistry related, player related, that I can help answer it in a, you, you know when it's coming, right? Anytime you, like, you know when something's coming, it makes it easier. We've been on a long process and a long journey. It's been a long journey to get here, but we did finally make 99 overall. So I appreciate you guys support this year. Uh, it really, truly does mean the world to me. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. But again, I do thank you so much. Whew. I'm out. Peace.